Hello, this is Pris. I'm gonna focus on this video for you because you just do not wanna see what I did to my eyes. Um, I had some sulfur medicine on my fingers and apparently got it in my eyes when I was sleeping a couple nights ago and boy, my eyes are all red. <clears throat> and to rinse them out with water a lot, but um, they're healing, it's just, irritation so I don't want to put me on view. Um, I have two words. One I just got last night called saving and bending. So it was given the 24th early morning. And this is, uh, it's not a real long word. Startling changes are coming, the Lord said. I have so much to do to change my people. That is why glory is coming. I will revive the dead bones of my people. I will not forsake America, even though many will leave her due to severe conditions. I will not leave her, for there is much value to what I've sown in her. So many are trying to figure out so many things but not waiting on me. Come aside, my beloveds, while there is time and get my orders from headquarters. Only I know every detail of your lives and the plans of the enemy. I am saving America to use her greatly in harvesting of souls. But do, to do that, I need to use those who bend to my will and not their own. Bending down to your true king is required in this hour. Too many are self-centered, clamoring for attention out of insecurity, loneliness, or striving. Bending will be required on many fronts because Leviathan has been usurping the lives of many. Love has grown cold through many circumstances and mind-controlled masses who hate me or attempt even more to subdue and control my people, but I am the one all will bend to in the end or be destroyed forever. A husband and wife bend to each other out of love and respect for one another, and so it should be a mutual bending of wills to fulfill my will. Hedge funds will fail, crypto will fail, systems that are corrupt will fail, insurance companies will fold because they cannot handle all the deaths and disasters coming. Systems of medicine have been broken and corrupted and will be partly replaced, merging with natural methods and true science. Excuse me. Their schemes to substitute what I've created will fail. The earth will be cleansed with flood and fires. Cling to me, beloveds, and I will fight for you and with you. Systems will be extinguished and rebuilt. I will not abandon you. I will establish you in glory that you may shine, shine, shine to the world around you, the light of my countenance. And that is the end of that word. So that was short, right? And then I have another one that uh, was given last year, but is important for now, I think. So, focus over here so I can extend this a little bit because I can't see the whole page. There we go. It's called Restless Times, Restless Minds. And it was given August 1st, 2021. Sorrow has already filled so many hearts that see the apathy and complacency to what is going on and the heavy weight of humanism, communism, and idolatries. Mankind was made for me, but does not know it. For years, the church has embraced the main philosophies of men. Um, I think I meant vain philosophies of men and has been tranquilized by lust of all kinds in the name of progress. Archetypes of wickedness exalt and parade themselves before you as if they were a royal priesthood of knowledge and skill learned and immersed in intellectual pride, but the self-deceits of men and women are no match for the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now, when he says archetypes uh, exalt themselves, you know, like a royal priesthood, that's actually a part of Freemasonry, which is running the world. Freemasonry 
is like a false priesthood cult. So there you have it. Um, the immensity of deception and delusion is astounding to those who know me, but I knew, and I said, when I return, will I find faith on earth? The jaded and jaundiced ideas of who I really am plague the ignorant, but I have prepared my remnant for battle and harvesting of souls, and my big surprise is at the door. You know what is coming, but you don't know the superior immensity of the gift I'm pouring out. The recapitulation of fulfilled prophecies has been unrolled and has started. Don't give in to depression and despair. In the day of my arrival, an ancient king tried to slaughter me and a generation of children, and today this is attempting a replay. Already there have been many martyred children because parents put their faith in man's science and corrupt medicine rather than putting their trust in me. Grown adults, blinded by treating men as gods, have succumbed to the great lies and deception, but I am arranging my surprise to destroy much of their plans. So do not give in to despair and sorrow, but let it out to me in prayer. Cry out, beloveds, cry out, for I am an, am I an unjust judge or a righteous judge? Of course, Lord, you are righteous. The more you see the pain and feel the dread, give it to me. Worship me and the beauty of holiness and heavenly portals of fire will open up to you and bring the greatest transformation of mankind in earth's history. For I will move upon the lands, the nations, the waters and seas, the earth and the air and uproot all that is unholy and all unholiness that has been done in the nations. Fight for the children and yourselves and I will fight alongside you as you raise your swords of righteousness and prophesied of the powers and principalities over cities and nations. This honor have all the saints. Do not embrace the kiss of death planned for you. Do not be complacent or give in to the apathy. Holy warring angels are with you to lead, guide, and protect at my command. Some media will turn and airways will be cleared if you will continue to war and dance on injustice and speak truth. Be not afraid of their threats, but have no deceit in thinking there will be no cost to this revival. For even the enemy is in your own camp, betraying you like Judas, and many Trojan horses have been established. But I have my own who will stand up for righteousness and have been fighting at a great cost to themselves and their families. So pray for them. Pray for those who I will cloak with governmental power, as many will be removed from positions of power, like a row of dominoes falling, will they be retired from their wickedness. Pray for truth to overcome those given over to the beast through secret associations to be cut off from the witchcraft, sorcery, and divination. Murder is the highest form of witchcraft. Call for angelic armies to overcome these occult wicked spirits. Dance on nations, when, um, pray and call the weeping women to cry out. Let the priests cry out between the porch and altar for the salvation of mankind. Hallelujah. You can see all uh, my words of prophecy at www.upstreetca.org. Just click on the prophecy link. And also I have a free books page that has downloads of the PDFs for different years that are free and uh, not many people do freebies anymore I encourage you that um, that it, that God has breathed uh, these words and it's not my own mind or my own just perception but he speaks um, through his angels or him, his spirit to me so um, if you have an inclination to help a small nonprofit, we do help establish water wells in North India where many of the towns don't have water uh, except contaminated water. And we're drilling electric wells so that they go down deeper to get pure water. And this has been a, a great boon 
for the people there and making life easier because they don't have to pump at the electric well, they can just turn on the faucet. And uh, because they already have to carry stuff home. So God bless you. If you feel led, um, you can go to PayPal and give through upstream.ca at me.com, uh, all small letters. And that would be greatly appreciated. Blessings to you. Keep the faith and keep on fighting in Jesus' name.